also is our Eagle News correspondent in Las Vegas, Nevada, Lani Valdecantos. Lani? including one death. Now, these numbers don't might not sound alarming compared to the rest of the nation, but it is partially due to the fact that we are limited on test kits available to our state. Mm -hmm. um, just an hour ago, our governor had actually conducted a press conference mandating that all non-essential businesses close effective immediately. These businesses include um, movie theaters, um, malls, gyms, and things of that sort. However, the establishments that will remain open are healthcare establishments, pharmacies, banks, and of course, grocery stores. Um, in addition to um, the governor's um, press release, he did um, is not instructing any religious organizations to stop any worship gatherings at this time, but is encouraging faith leaders to hold their worship gatherings um, not in person as much as possible. So this pandemic is also happening right before the much anticipated spring break here in Nevada. So a lot of families have had to cancel vacation and leisurely activities. So what's happening is it's greatly affecting our tourism here in Las Vegas, which has caused MGM properties and most of the hotels on the strip, such as the Wynn, um, the, uh, the Venetian as well as Cosmopolitan hotels closing effective immediately. And this is causing a lot of layoffs and temporary and also indefinite layoffs that are happening. However, um, the governor has confirmed and that evictions um, due to the lack of wages from employees, evictions will not take place. So residents don't have to worry about their primary residence as well as any essential utility shutoffs. Those will not occur. So, um, you know, on the lighter note, Nevadans are hopeful. Um, we have um, recovered from, as a community, we have com com recovered from unfortunate events in the past, but we are hopeful and have confidence in our local authorities that our safety and health of our residents is our top priority. In Las Vegas, Lonnie Valdicantos, Eagle News, we live in interesting times.